Hi guys, welcome to the Newcastle save. So today's games are against Wolves and Bournemouth. So I've checked, I've made a few changes. Um, De Lucia were not for it. Neither was Zavok. So I've replaced them with Colligan and Bernardo. Uh, everyone else seems all good to go, so it's going to be a tough game. They've got a good team, a very good team, a pretty scrum, uh, strong bench as well. So, yeah, it's going to be a pretty tough match. Wolves are going to be in and around there, mid-table to um, the European places, so... But I think on our day we're uh, a match for anyone to. Uh, we're a match for anyone, I think, on our day. So let's hope we can get three points in the bag. At the minute, we are challenging for the total. Good block. So, I think, yeah, this one's going to be Wednesday's episode. Wednesday's, so, yeah. Here's Brant's. Let's just check first, see if I've got the right tactics. I forgot to change them again. Um, I'll just quickly do it now. Centering targets. He's Culligan. Oh, Culligan, what is that? Going on a pretty good run there. Yeah, I think we're gonna just be able to hit him on the counter. He's Haaland, Zabata, Trinkio. Ooh. He's Brandt. Oh, lovely goal by Brandt. What a goal by Brandt that was. Julian Brandt. He scored some good goals for us, he has. Look at this. No skull. Yeah, really good goal. I'd recommend anyone to get Brandt. He's a very, very good player. He's kind of like more Gerard. Condi's our John Terry. Or Rio Ferdinand. Haaland, Conde Lokar, Michael Owen. So, yeah, we we do have a really good team. And I think this season... We have a very good chance of winning a trophy. Whether it's the FA Cup... The league... Europa League, I think we... Can win one of them. Why not? Be a bonus if we did the treble. That'd be amazing. But take one bit of a time. Oh, what a goal that would have been by Culligan. <laughs> that would have been goal of the season if he scored that. He's Culligan. To Bernardo. To Haaland. Sancho. Ooh. At least he got it on target. It's promising. Colligan slip then. Good header back to Bernardo. His Demerol. Kondi. 
Trinkio, Matic, so at least we created a few chances, it's been a pretty even match though, they've had a lot of the ball. He must be trained then, as a captain. Let's take him off for Hutchinson. Everyone else is okay. He just seems really tired, so I think I'll give him a rest. Because he is really old, he's 34, he's coming to the end of his career. So... He's Brant, Zabata. Brant. Holland. He's Sancho. Ooh, offside. Damn. Stay on side. Good header by Hutchinson. Ooh. Yeah, I've um, looked for a... He's got really good vision, Sancho. Um, I've looked for a young winger who ain't a regen. I just feel like I'm cheating when I have a regen. Oh, good shot by Sancho. Um, I feel like I'm cheating having a regen. So... I'm going to try and get a proper player and one of the players I've bidded for is a couple to get as a squad player for this season and until um, we leave um, Newcastle I'm looking at a Brazilian called en Henrique he looks really good at early 20s I think he's 19 he's he's really young very promising player so I think he'd be a good signing I think he's 21 or 22 that's a foul thank god one of them got it because man that would really annoy me Oh, um, that's unlock me, isn't it? To make lake subs. Uh, who else is tired? Sancho looks really tired, so I'll take him off for uh, some mana. Need to try and get the ball out of play. That's it. At least they get a bit of time. Notch so that when they're on red, you need to take them off because a few times, as I've seen on YouTube streamers and when I've played it, when they're on red and they play longer than what they are on red, they can get injured. So you just need to take them off to prevent injuries. Cause it's a long season, you don't want your best players injured for the whole season, which... On this game, the injuries could be a lot more realistic. On Football Manager, I've always got players injured. I've always got to keep calling up my reserve squad, reserve players, to put in my squad. So, yeah, f for realistic, for off the field and injuries, Football Manager is a lot better than Pez. In that kind of sense. So there are the results. And Liverpool drew to Spurs. So we're third. Chelsea's just in front. And it's us, Man U, Liverpool. It's really early days. 
wait until around December time, then we'll have a... Then we'd know who'd be challenging for what and who'd be down there. Look, Arsenal's at the bottom with the Premiership at the moment. I think they'll turn it around eventually. I don't think they'll stay there until the end of the season. There, I think they've got a good enough team to turn it around. What's it for then? Yum. Maybe a few more loans out. Because our salary budget is getting down now. Because each time we loan someone out, we've got to keep paying the salary to loan them out. I think that will be the last loan. To be honest, guys, because after this, I'm gonna sell Lobato for a lot of money. Then I'll leave it. Then try and build up that salary budget. Because not so that the towards the end of the season, next season, I've got to renew the whole team's uh, contracts. Well, some of them. Bournemouth, they're mid-table, okay. Oh, I really wanted him. I'm not paying 20 million for you. Let's see. Yeah, I really wanted him. How old is he? 21. He looks really good. Shame I couldn't get him. How old's he? I want someone who's... Good shooting. Decent passing, quick. As he's got pinpoint crossing through passing. Good crossing. He's quicker. And he's less money. And his hit costs 19 million. So yeah. I'm going to get Crusader. I think he'd be a good squad player. So let's reject that. Bring in Crusader. He looks really good. He'd be a good, really good squad player for us, I think. To bring on for when Trinkio's tired, so... Yeah. I think he'd be a good young squad player for us. Where? Murray. Chadley. What? Oh, we have to renew his contract. Let's do that now. Yeah, at least they go for... 23 million if someone does... Pay his release fee. Three years will do. I reckon in three years time we we'll possibly be finished here anyway. See, see how everything goes. Okay, that's all done. Let's get to action. Let's see if everyone's okay. Why is Bellingham playing left back? Oh, he's injured for a week. Bellingham ain't playing left back.
Yeah, okay, that's this bench. Oh, for God's sake. Um... I might need to get two centre-backs on the reserves, just in case they ain't up for it. I'll play him, but if he don't play well, or he gets really tired, I'll bring shot on on. Everyone else seems okay. He won't opt for it. Maybe he's just tired because we are playing a lot of football. We're playing league games plus Europa League in the week. You know, it's a lot of football and they get tired quite easily. So, tritated a few players in and out. Oh, looks like it's raining. So last game of Wednesday's episode. We're definitely gonna keep Shaw. He's a decent spare defender to have in case Condi ain't up for it or Demerol ain't up for it. You know? He's good to have as a backup in case injuries happen. He's Trinkio. Oh good save. I like how he cuts in the middle. That's how he's going to get a lot of goals this season. Look, he cuts in that middle. Yeah, he's been a really good son and I'm glad I got him. I knew what he could do anyway because I had him on a private save. What a header that was. Origi. He's a decent squad player. I think next season I am going to get someone younger though. I think he might be on the reserves. And then he can come in in case one of the four strikers get injured or tired. But good head by Origi. Which you need to uh, try and get a few more, I think. He's Shah to Conde, Brandt, Zavok, Culligan to Con to Brandt, Culligan. Oh, no so dear boy Sancho, shame uh, Origi didn't get on the end of it. Good header by RG on Terry. He always wins his header, Condi does. Good tackle by Brandt. Here's Sancho. Yes! Who's that? Trinkio again! God, he's scoring some loads of goals for us, he is. He's a good goal scoring midfielder, ain't he? Yeah, I'm really glad we got him. What a signing he's been. He's Haaland to Sancho, back to Haaland, poor touch by Haaland. We are working on his ball control, so hopefully that will get better in time. Yeah, he's offside. So he smacks it up to Origi. Ooh. 
Good clearance by Wolves. He's Origi to Brandt. Yeah, they're really marking Holland. Here's Condi. Oh, what is that, Condi? You can do better than that. Trinkio looks really tired. So let's bring Sulmana on. Maybe switch flanks. As, yeah. Sulmana's left, he's right. He is a bit better on the right. So Newcastle just need to stay composed. Don't let this lead slip away. Good block. They need to... Good tackle. Is Sancho... Oh, come on, Sancho. you need to uh, maybe try and get another one because he's Matic what is that Matic Shaw needs to catch up with him good tackle Good sliding tackle that. That's why I just slid in because he was going to whip that ball in there and then. And I wouldn't have got to it. you got to really time your tackles on this. Oh, lovely header by Solmana. Solmana to Origi. That's a foul. He fouled me. Oh, the refs on this game are really annoying. Hopefully on the next game they're a lot better than what they are in this game. Because they're shock. They're 0 out of 5 on this. They're so bad. I'm, I've all, I'm always complaining about them at least once per episode. Here's Halland. Lovely turn by Halland. No nice idea. She couldn't quite get it on target, but good turn. He's had an alright season. Um, he was better for me in my private save, to be honest. But he's still been alright. He's been pretty. He's been pretty good. Who's that to? Oh, you lost your man. So, at least another three points in the bag. That's cool. That's what we have to keep doing. Keep grinding them good results out. And then it will pay off by the end with maybe a league total or qualification in the Champions League. So, yeah. So, Newcastle beat Bournemouth. We beat Bournemouth, sorry. West Ham beat Wolves. Liverpool drew to Southampton. Spurs beat Palace. Chelsea beat Burnley. Chelsea are probably favourites to win the league they're still the only team to beat us in the league so far 
Man U beat Watford, Arsenal beat West Brom, Man City beat Sheffield United. They should, I thought they'd beat them a lot more than 1 0. Brighton beat Leeds, Leicester beat Everton. So we're second. That's incredible. Chelsea's only conceded one goal. One goal in nine games. That is incredible. Then again, we've only conceded three, so... At the moment, us and Chelsea do have the best defence in the league. Their goal difference is better than ours. They've bought eight goals. Early days. Early days. So, our next two games for Thursday. Oh, God. Europa League match and then Man United. Okay. I'll sign him now and then. Okay, uh, thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. Look, subscribe, all that stuff. No, you're not, he's not going anywhere. The only way someone's getting him is if they pay his release fee. Anyway, bye for now. Uh, see you for tomorrow's episode, Thursday's episode, I think. Bye.